In this video, we'll show you how to control Tornado with MIDI and get to grips with the Dictator. With Tornado correctly set up in your host as a MIDI controlled effect, MIDI can be routed to it via a MIDI controller or data on a MIDI track in order to operate the eight main knobs. In fact, all the controls in the edit page, which we'll get into later, can be MIDI controlled too, but getting hands on with the main knobs is what the plugin is all about. By default, the eight main knobs are mapped to MIDI continuous controller numbers 1 to 8. So if the knobs on your MIDI controller output those CCs, turning them will move their corresponding main knobs. If your knobs are assigned to other CCs, either change them to CCs 1 to 8 in your controller's editor, or right click each main knob, select Learn, and turn the corresponding controller knob to link the two. With the eight main knobs assigned, you're all set to perform on the fly effects processing. Recording the results as a MIDI clip in the host door for editing and use within your arrangement as an effects sequence. The automatic knob twiddling doesn't end there though, as Tornado also has its own automation system built in in the shape of the Dictator. Click the Dictator button at the top of the interface to open it. The Dictator enables you to design a sequence of automation for all eight main knobs together, the progression of which is controlled by the big slider on the left, which can of course be assigned to a MIDI controller using the right click learn function. The shape of the automation envelope is defined by points placed along the eight lanes, each one setting its main knob to a particular value at that stage of the sequence. Click any main knob's lane to add an automation point for it and drag the point to move it. Two points are required to make an automation transition, which glides from the value of one to the next as the slider travels through the sequence. By default, each new point sets its main knob to 50%. Adjust this value by holding shift and dragging up and down on the point. The coloured shadow between the points represents the changing value of the knob, intensifying as it increases. When there's no automation on a lane, the main knob drops to zero, i.e. off. You can also move and release a main knob to enter an automation point for it at the current slider position set to the value of the knob when released, or adjust the value of a point already at that position. The DICE and X buttons under each lane randomize and clear them respectively, while the same buttons under the slider randomize and clear all lanes. <laughs> Dictator presets can be saved using the menu at the top, which contains a small collection of handy starting points. and you can set the dictator to ignore Tornado preset changes by activating the padlock button. Dance. 
download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print. <laughs>